Ultrasound guided peripheral cannulation is a great way to learn ultrasound techniques and coordination. However, there are a few tips and tricks that will improve your strike rate considerably. First, collect your equipment. I would suggest extra sterile wipes, sterile jelly if you can find it, and specifically the long cannula. This is because we're going for deep veins with a shallow angle of entry so that the returning sound wave can still be captured by the probe. If the angle is steep, the returning sound waves often reverberate past the probe and the needle can't be visualized. You also need extra gloves for yourself and the probe and plenty of tissues. It's very hard to stick anything to the patient when you've been scanning. I can't emphasize enough that you clean the probe before you start. Any of your alcohol wipes will do. If you're particularly concerned about body fluids, put gel on the probe, put a glove tightly stretched over the gel and hold it in place. You don't specifically need rubber bands or sticky tape. Choose your position with care, sitting if you possibly can, certainly not twisted across your shoulder. You want yourself, the probe, the patient and the screen in alignment such that you barely need to move your head to see. Next survey the territory. Slide the probe up and down the arm watching the direction of the vein, whether it bifurcates, whether it dives. It's also important to compress the vein to check that it is patent and is in fact a vein. Step four is check out the neighbors. Find the proximal arteries. They're the ones that don't compress and pulsate. If you put the color flow on, you'll see occasional flow in the veins, but a regular pulsation in the artery. Now it's time to bite the bullet and cannulate. If you've decided to use the trans approach, place the vein right in the middle of the screen, wipe the skin carefully, and insert the cannula at 30 degrees to the skin, one centimeter this side of the probe, aiming directly at the middle of the probe between the 8 and the L. You'll see the bright bevel come into view. But if you want to keep the bevel in view, you have to move the probe backwards at the same time as you advance the needle. Here it looks as if the needle is right in the center of the vein. However, that white dot could be any part along the shaft of the needle. So it's vital that you learn to turn. This is one of the hardest little maneuvers with a non-dominant hand. Because at the same time you're focusing on keeping the needle quite still. When you turn, keep the vein in the center field. Every time it moves off center, correct back to the midline before you're continuing your turn. When you have it completely turned, the walls should be bright and clear, like this. In vivo, it looks like this. Of course, you would not be using ultrasound to cannulate such a shallow vein as this. To stress the importance, Let's watch the vena comitantes in the artery. If we turn on the veins, we can get a lovely clear flow of blood through the veins, but there is no indication in this picture of how close the artery is until we rock the probe and it's right next door. For this reason, we recommend the trans approach when the artery is medial or lateral to the veins. The long approach is used when the artery is deep. The hardest part is to remain perfectly aligned with the long axis of the probe. Remember the beam width is no wider than a credit card so it's quite easy to miss the shaft of your needle completely. Watch the little pop as the needle perforates the vein. It's very useful to have someone else watching the hub of your cannula when you first start to cannulate because You'll be so intent on watching the screen, you won't notice the flushback that you're used to feeling. Slide the cannula off and watch the back wall. Uh, have a better picture of it in just a moment. Uh, 
uh, this particular cannula is fresher so it has more air in it, it's easier to see. At this point put the probe down somewhere safe Clean the gel meticulously off the patient before you start to stick anything down. Clean the probe, return the machine and plug it in to recharge the batteries. Please practice these techniques, they'll stand you in good stead with any other needling techniques and I'd rather you practiced on peripheral veins before you start on central lines.